Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duckbricks. I'm Chris, and today is a pretty exciting day for Bionicle news because finally the Toahaga have been canonized. So, in case you aren't aware, TTV has been running these modern canonization contests alongside Greg Farshti, one of the original writers of Bionicle, to actually give physical depictions to characters that were heavily featured in the Bionicle story serials but never really appeared in physical set form. Stuff like Artaka and Toa Helrix are among the many that have been canonized throughout this process, and we have four new characters that have finally physical depictions ready to be seen and built today. So to quickly describe how this contest ran, originally they had the first half, which was a mock contest, to decide the general look and feel of each of the four missing Toahaga. Once the mock contest was decided, it was then up to the second part, the artwork contest, to determine the mass color, the armor color, the mass shape, the spear tip, all sorts of different details that could be switched around somewhat from the original mocks that were canonized to finally decide on the final depiction of each of the Toahaga. And well, today is the day, the results are in, and I am certainly very, very excited to build these physically. I've had the mocks sitting around without masks, without armor for the longest time, and finally I can actually build them, do some reviews, so definitely stay tuned if you want to see some reviews. But without further ado, let's just take a look at the winner, I'll give my thoughts on this winner and how it compares to some of the other entrants, and of course, let me know what you think as well. Let's go! Alrighty, so I am incredibly excited to announce that the winner of the TTV Toahaga Canonization Contest is this particular entry by Spectrel, which happened to be my favorite entry from all of the entries that were up in the running for the final canonized version. For me personally, I am a huge fan of the color scheme choices and the mass choices used for basically all of the models here. Starting off, I think Metal Green for Bomanga, a Toa of Earth having somewhat of an earthy color scheme in green definitely makes a lot of sense to me, and I also really like the choices of color for the Metal Blue of Koalas, as well as retaining the Gunmetal Gray for Pooks, but changing the spear tip to be the CCBS Cragger Chima spear tip, which I think is a big upgrade. I also really enjoy the changes made to the Gaki mask. The creator of Gaki actually specifically requested that the mask be changed from the original design, and this to me is a really cool looking design in general. It feels very knight-like, almost like a knight's helmet, but still fitting in the world of Bionicle, and you can definitely see some design similarities across many other Kanohi. In case you want to see kind of what this could look like on the model itself, the artist actually drew a silver version of the new Kanohi for Gaki over the official winning model, which looks really good, and also drew a separate picture for Gaki herself in her own environment, which also looks really fantastic. Overall, I am incredibly pleased with how the final artwork turned out. One of my favorite things about this piece of art is that every single one of the Toa definitely stands on their own while still forming part of a cohesive team. There is an excess focus given to any one member of the team, instead they all stand fairly equally and still feel like all of one cohesive team, which is really nice to see. I also really like, again, the color choices here. Having each Toa have their own unique metallic color scheme really makes every single character stand out, and a lot of the choices truly exemplify the elements, such as the green for Bomanga and the blue for Koalas. I also am a big, big fan of the way the art style is done featuring the Toa on a battlefield fully united with the light breaking through the cloud shining above them. Just looks really cool to me in general and I'm very, very happy with the team formation of this image. Even Bomanga, whose build is pretty radically different from some of the other Toahaga, feels like he fits in very well with this team while still having his own unique stance. And of course, all of the Toa have their own unique characteristics to them, from the scarf on Koalas billowing in the wind, to Pooks having a slightly different pose and a much more spiky design, all of the canon models come together to form this particularly fantastic piece of artwork. But with that, let's just kind of take a look at some of the other artworks that were very close to winning but did not officially make it as the final canon design. The first piece of artwork here was one of the first ones submitted by Justin Archang. I was actually pretty happy with this one as well, although I do think the color scheme definitely could have been improved because they just did the 2-2 split with the color scheme, which definitely isn't the most interesting in my opinion. I guess it kind of makes them feel a little bit more like a full cohesive team, but I'm very, very happy that the final artwork, which featured completely different metallic colors for all the Toahaga, eventually won in the end. 
this other piece of artwork which made it to the finals, which is one of the ones I figured would probably have a pretty strong chance competing against the final winner, was also one I really liked because you could see the silhouettes of the Rahaga behind the Toa. I do generally like the color scheme choices for the most part, although I do think the differentiation between the flat dark gold for Iruni and the pearl gold for Bomanga just isn't that strong, and I'm very happy Bomanga eventually ended up being the metallic green. One thing I do like about this particular piece of art though is that you can actually see all sorts of differently colored piston detailing for the legs and armor of the characters themselves. That is something that was missing from the final winning artwork, which I do think definitely could have made it look a little bit better. But overall, I am much happier with the final choices for the color scheme breakdown of the six Toahaga than I am with this one which features two very similar color schemes for each of the Toa. And finally, one of the last pieces of artwork that was strongly in the running that I actually was thinking had a pretty strong chance of winning was this digital art piece, which can be seen right here, which again, unfortunately, put a lot of focus on the main four new Toa being canonized, but unfortunately, that also meant that the other Toa, which were previously LEGO sets like Iruni and Norik, were kind of just shoved off to the side. Norik in particular is using his mask power of diminishment, so he's kind of the size of an ant just in the corner of the picture here, which I definitely am glad that they didn't end up having this be the final canonized artwork, because while it is a really good digital rendering, Iruni for instance is standing on the shoulders of the giant Bomanga, which means that the two actual official LEGO sets just aren't given that much focus. I can understand wanting to actually have the focus be on the brand new canonized models, but I overall am very happy with what we eventually got. That being said, the color scheme for the models here is basically just exactly what we got for the final canonized artwork, so I am very happy with that in particular because again, I'm a big fan of the color distribution across all six members of the Toahaga team. With that, we can revisit the final canonized artwork. Here is the official image for all six Toahaga in all their glory, starting off with Toagaki, then Iruni, Bomanga, Norik, Koalas, and Pooks. It is really fantastic to finally see these characters fully canonized after so many years of not knowing what they look like officially in the Bionicle lore, and definitely stay tuned to this channel because I will be publishing reviews of all of four new Toahaga as well as a wrap-up review showcasing the entire entire team together every two weeks. This Monday you're going to be getting Koalas, and every two weeks after that there will be a new Toahaga Bionicle fan and review, just to spice things up so it doesn't get stale. But with that we have summed up our look at this artwork, so we can now move on. Alright, so there you have it, the final canon depiction of the Toahaga let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of this artwork? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you wish one of the others won? And are you excited for the next canonization contest? I certainly am, and in between then, I will get to building, spray painting, and actually finalizing these mocks for review. So I have a lot of work to do, so I'll talk to you again very soon, but subscribe to Duck Breaks for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks so much, and bye-bye for now.